Hey YouTube, so Sunburn Fishing here, um, just doing another video on a bit more of the RAM build for Australia and some of the um, obstacles that I have encountered fitting a AEV snorkel to the RAM. So I was told straight up that it does, it's not a direct fit, so no, no problems there and um, a few people make brackets that adjust, uh, adapt this one to those ones and stuff like that. But I wanted to do it myself and because a lot of people want to, a lot of people uh, want to do this themselves but not sure where to start or if they can do it. And I do everything myself from where I live and I, I actually enjoy it and me and the wife both enjoy fitting stuff out and, and getting it done. So. Anyway, I wanted to, I wanted to do it, and also I know that it's done, um, you know, exclude properly or whatever whatever it may be. So, anyway, I'm gonna go walk you through the AEV for the Ram 1500 in Australia with the AEV, uh, like the if you bought it from a Ram dealership, AEV um, um, airbox fit out how I've done it. So there is actually a very good video from America of how to fiddle this. Um, if you just YouTube it, I can't remember his name. He had to pull this off, pull this back on and stuff. So you got to, it comes with a template. So it comes with a template. You just tape up here, tape up there. You have to um, drill the holes out with hole saws and stuff like that. This aerial was, was there. You have to actually move that. Um, it comes with the it comes with the thing to um, put that back there, so that's it's got a little mark out where you do it. Um, that video that our mate puts up there, um, the full the full install, very helpful how to drill the holes out and everything, and definitely do what he says. It's um, it was very helpful. We watched it over and over again. I'm not sure how long it goes for, but you'll find it. And so that's that's the actual the fit in this part. Yeah, where to find the bolts and all that stuff. So that's all good. Now. With um, the Australian RAM, this air box, this is not here. Uh, this is not here in America. So this is fitted here for the right hand conversion. And they've moved this box back around, I'm gonna say 150, 200, 200 mils, something like that. Trouble is when the snorkel comes in, it comes in up in through the guard here. And then it comes and then does a, there's a two piece and it comes in, then it comes, does an S through the guard and comes out down here. And there's actually the, the actual air, the actual, um, let's check if it's still recording. The actual air fitting comes out on a bit of a 45 like that. And then the actual fit used to, originally the box goes round and bolts into the end of the end of the bracket. But because this box is further back, that last bit can't be used. Um, SCD build an adapter kit that comes out of, so what Ram Australia have done is they've they've modified they've cut the end of the air box out here, and made up this plastic thing that comes clips in here, clips in here, and then the air sucks from just there. So that's the actual where your intake is right behind the wheel here. So it's right there exposed. You can put your hand up in the guard into it. And I looked at that and I thought, right, hmm, that's how they do it. So what I want to do was instead of using the adapter kit, I wanted to make the the original snorkel come out with their intake where it normally bolts on here and then I wanted to go directly into the airbox. I'm gonna lie to you, it's a mission. I cut the whole side of the airbox out, yep, cut it all out, and then got this, you'll see here. I'll spin the phone around. And that's where it comes in to there. So that comes in, I've got it, that's for the 45, it comes out. I've cut the whole side of this air box out and then I adapted that in there like round and then that's where that comes out there that used to come out and then be on a flat angle here but because the box is back you can't get it on the end so I rotated it round to where it um, comes out to this shape and then I've modified this back and then I've with a soldering iron and a lot of off cuts of plastic I got that five inch hole to come in there and then I now, what also happens when you do this is that clamp goes inside the box's actual area. See how that goes through there into there? So you can't, you have to 
build a bridge into this area here to seal this part of the box up so you can actually clamp inside that surface area which is working out fine which is working out fine so oh, so i've just plastic plastic melted i got the solder on to the tab solder onto the tab and then just kept filling it full of plastic and also around the end just kept getting other pieces and then snipping them out and just melting them in melting them in and built my own airbox shape like that it's not the prettiest but i believe the the five inch intake coming straight into there is definitely better than a um an adapter here that does a skinny thing there then a skinny thing into the back there you can probably do it but it, and also that adapter plate they might build one i'm not i'm not sure if they build one but they probably do build one on an angle or something there potentially i'd say so and you can probably go with that but i want to use this plastic piece into there so anyway it's in there now and um it's a big job looks quite neat with the you won't see any of that with the lid on yeah so that's that's how you fit or that's how i've fitted a aev snorkel goes right through to there five inch into the air box there if you had fiberglass or something it'd probably be even easier cut it out than your fiberglass in but I, I haven't got all that stuff so yeah so anyway that's a that's an install video on that um also put the flares on we uh, put i passed one last night put the flares on and they got them for Murchison products in australia and it's all painted up and then we're just pretty easy to put on just puts a rubber thing a couple of screws mud flap yeah so that was actually um that's also another build to the ram and the camp king is on the camp king on so um how we fitted that because this is a canopy that i have made i end up just putting um stainless bolts and thick angle line bracket that goes down there and it's plated inside to get the to get the camp king as low as possible so the bars are supported through the roof and also with my canopy this this shape here fits perfectly in with oh, perfectly in with the doors when it opens so that's something to consider when you how your door opening is when you're fitting the camp king um fitting and i just use big around that big great big plates in there where it's all welded in yeah which is a bit of a, a mission to get on to but it come up really neat yeah so so this is for you yeah just for your backyarders like myself who um just fitted it yourself and and what to come across with the snorkel fit out and things like that to consider. All right, I'll let you know if it lasts. Over and out.